Today we're going to be working on the applications of some survey notations and operations involving uh, surveys or operations involving subsets using the Venn diagram. Now in this particular example, we're going to be working on a survey wherein there are two subsets, which is subset A and subset B. And in this particular union set, subset A would be the number of students or set of students willing to donate blood. And in set B, it will be the number of students who are willing to serve breakfast to donors. And you will see that there's the second group in the middle, which is group number two, which is the intersection of A and B. That means those are the number of students who are willing to do both, which is to donate blood and to serve breakfast to donors. Now, if we're going to be answering some of the problems involving this Venn diagram, it's extremely important that you're understanding the numbers, the groupings, and the subsets that you're seeing in your union sets. And in your union sets, you'll see that there's 290 um, students who are in group four, which means they are neither in subset A or subset B, or these are the list of students who don't want to donate blood and don't want to serve breakfast. Now let's answer some of the survey problems in this Venn diagram. Starting with the first one, we're going to count how many students are willing to donate blood. And in this particular diagram, we know that set A are the number of students who are willing to donate blood, which comprise of two groups. The group of students who are just willing to donate blood and the other subgroup which is willing to donate blood and serve breakfast and this will be the students who are willing to donate blood so the cardinality of set a would be 370 plus 120 because even though group 2 is the intersection of A and B, it still falls under the category of students who are willing to donate blood. So we're still going to count them in. So we have 370 plus 120, which totals 490 students for letter A. Now for letter B, we're going to be counting how many are willing to donate blood but not serve breakfast. So group A are willing to donate blood and group B are willing to serve breakfast and in the middle are the students who are willing to do both. So we're, not, we're just counting how many are willing to donate blood but not serve breakfast would be the students in this particular group, which is in group A, not in group not including the intersection of A and B because we're just finding the total number of students exclusive to just donating blood but not serving breakfast. So in, in this case, we're counting the subset of A intersection B complement, which is equal to 370 students or group number one. So this is how we're going to be answering letter B. Um, by using the notations that we have learned on the intersection of set, union of sets, and the complement of set. Now for the third survey problem, let's say we're interested to figure out how many weren't willing to do either tasks. And there are only two tasks, donating blood and serving breakfast. And here, you are clearly seeing group A and group B to be those group of students. But right now, we're finding the number of students who weren't willing to do e any of those two tasks. So here, you would say that you're not going to include the students in group A, which is group one and two, and the students in set B, which is the third group. So in this case, we are basically counting the complement of A or the complement of B, which is basically region four or outside your set A and set B but still included in the union set. So that means the number of students who were, weren't willing to do any of the tasks would be 290 students or the complement of A or the complement of B. So th this is how we use the uh, subset notations in working out problems involving survey similar to this one that we have worked on.